So this is my 75 gallon build. I'm doing all my testing before, doing it outside in my patio, so if there is a flood, it's not in the house. Everything's glued, plumb, regulated, have a nice good water level. It's my main, my emergency, my regulating. Here's the air hose comes out of the top. See, it goes just below the emergency, like supposed to. This is the bean animal overflow box system. You can see the water level in there, sort of. I know it's kind of dark. That'll be the refuge, and that'll be the skimming section over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a power failure by unplugging the pump. I got siphon holes drilled in my windows. There's one right there, another right there, and then on the sides of those you can't see because it's everything's black. You'll hear them in a second. But water level is slowly creeping in here. It'll get to about an inch, and then the other siphons. There's the inlet siphon. The hole's right there on the side of that one. And that one. It's hard to see because it's black. But that baffle is all over the top of the tank. So it goes about eh, an eighth of an inch to the top. It's slowly going to drain and trickle to that. I won't make you guys sit and wait for that. But So I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to make another one of it equalizing when power, fit, when power comes back on. Alright, so everything's drained. It's about the water level it's going to get. It's almost to the top but not quite. You have another maybe half inch to work with but I don't want to push it so that's where I'm going to have my max at. Got my full mark already. It's hard to see but there it is. Just so you guys know, it's the, this is the IHAM Compact 5000. It's up to 1320 GPH. At the nozzle, I think I'm pushing about 900 with three feet head height. So now I'm going to simulate an equalizing. So power comes back on. You can see the water level is already draining. goes. So the water level's dropping. It's coming up here. And I'll just sit right here. You guys watch. So there it goes. It's going to go to the emergency. There it goes. Now the second one's going to be starting into a siphon a little bit. It's pretty close. did not quite go all the way though. <coughs> so the water level's pretty close to the top of my overflow box. In fact, it just slightly goes over, but I have about a quarter inch from the top of the tank, so I'm good. But so there it is, rushing into the emergency. It's also going pretty fast into there because that's siphoned out because of the airline. That siphon's being created as well, but there's still a lot of air. So it's just going to balance out, take some time, see how long it takes. It goes down, it comes back up, it keeps doing that until the master siphon, which is over there, gets its siphon going. doesn't quite go to the emergency once it reaches a certain level, but I do have that airline 
below that level of an emergency line, so I'd rather that siphon be started before it gets to the emergency and use the emergency as just that. At least that's my thought process. Really wasn't too descriptive in Bean's design thread on uh, ReefCentral.com whether or not it was uh, what the depth was supposed to be, other than it was supposed to be at a depth that the water would reach it in the event of a flood or an overflow. So there it is, the main siphon has now got its siphon, there will still be some little bubbles coming out, it's not too many though, and you can see by how much water is coming down, there's a lot. This is all one and a half inch tubing, the bulkhead is one inch on the drains, three quarters on the inlets, but that's only because I wanted these flex hoses, and that was the smallest one they had, and you can kind of see the drain line. There you go, you can see where the siphon hole is on that one. It's the same on the other one. There it goes. And that's about the level. It'll pretty much regulate a little bit, but that's where it's going to sit. My water level on my tank is really good. You can't see the bottom. Looks pretty good. So there it is. Another... <laughs> Another example of Bean's design, and as you can see it's really, oh, I shouldn't have done that, sorry, it's really quiet, the whole system kind of goes through. And that's that.